all this is dr mubin sayed from drbean.com welcome to one more show so i am pretty excited today the over the counter first ever continuous glucose monitor which was approved by fda in march 2024 is now available to purchase i have been saying it for a long time that we should all at some point in our life apply a continuous glucose monitor understand our eating habits understand how the glucose spikes or not spike what what foods and what food combinations do that spike what foods or food combinations reduce the spike important thing to note is that when the glucose spikes that is when the tissues get glycated and that is when the damage starts occurring if the glucose is released slowly then we are okay and it is not that we can live live without glucose we will go in hypoglycemia which can be life threatening so we do need the glucose and even if you do not provide glucose from outside the liver will manufacture glucose called gluconeogenesis so we need the glucose it's the spikes that cause the problem so continuous glucose monitor would help you figure out for your dietary habits and for your body habitus what is the situation with the glucose spikes there are going to be some foods that would cause spike look your git is different your absorption capabilities and capacities are different your nutrient levels in the foods are different your vitamin um, levels are different your liver's state is different so all of those combinations your work type how much muscles you are moving how much brain activity you are doing because these muscle movements and brain activity take a lot of glucose kidney functions take a lot of glu- glucose as well so all of these things can become clear the price if you take it for a month there are two sensors in one it is by dexcom the price is 99 dollars but if you become a subscriber there is a 10% discount i am not their representative neither do i have any commercial interest with them however if you are only going to buy once let's say the two sensors for one month 99 dollars then make sure that before buying you create a table where you write down the foods that you usually take and then buy the sensor apply the sensors and per food figure out what kind of glucose spike it does and per plate the combination that you use look at what glucose spike that causes because sometimes when you when you combine carbs for example with other food types they can reduce the glucose release and absorption from the carbohydrates reducing the glucose spike so game changer a very important aspect we should at least once understand what our habits are and what kind of glucose levels we create what kind of spikes we create because spikes is where the glycation is that is where the damage is so let's very quickly look at the the releases so this is drbean.com if you want more medical lectures please just go here and become a member here is fda clears first over the counter continuous glucose monitor this was march 5 2024 but it just became available here is the site stello.com the sensor's name is stello so let's see what did the fda say Today the US Food and Drug Administration cleared for marketing the first over the counter continuous glucose monitor. The Dexcom Stello glucose biosensor system is an integrated CGM intended for anyone 18 years and older who does not use insulin such as individuals with diabetes treating their conditions with oral medications or those without diabetes who want to better understand how diet and exercise may impact blood sugar levels. Importantly, this system is not for individuals with problematic hypoglycemia, low blood sugar, as the system is not designed to alert the user to this potentially dangerous condition. Then they say users can wear, so it is for 18 plus. Users can wear each sensor up to 15 days before replacing with a new sensor. The device presents blood glucose measurements and trends every 15 minutes in the accompanying app. users should not make medical decisions based on the device's output without talking to their healthcare provider data from a clinical study provided to the fda showed that the device performed 
Similarly to other ICGMs, adverse events reported in the study included local infection, skin irritation, and pain or discomfort. Here is the device, Stello.com. And if you see here, there is this buy now button. If you scroll it, then the button goes here. I am looking like their representative, which I'm not. So here, Stello Glucose Biosensor monthly subscription. So if you have it for subscription, then it is $89. If you have a one-time purchase, then it is $99. There are two sensors in one box, and the app, I think, is free with it. So this is the total amount that you would be spending. But what a game changer. We all need to understand our carbohydrates level. These spikes translate into glycation, which then translates into number one, dysfunctional tissue, plus extra glucose levels cause osmotic pressure, plus there is a inflammation that starts when the glycation and dysfunction of the tissues and immune system occurs. So there is a lot of benefit with this one investment. So thank you very much for, for your time. The links for these uh, uh, URLs that I presented are in the description of this video. Plus, there are other links if you would like to support this work. The best is to become a member at drbean.com. And with this, thank you very much and I'll see you again.